Hey guys, Ryu here with another vid, and this one's gonna be about box cutter and the new features of uh, the grid and snap dots. So, with the box cutter enabled, if you click on this magnet here, click on an object and hold control, you can see these dots being displayed. And that's a, you know, behavior that we've seen for some time now. Uh, you can just, you know, create a shape here, you drag it and whatnot. The new box cutter comes with new options and you can enable them here under static. You can turn on static grid or static dots. Now let's go with dots because we're using dots at the moment, okay? So first of all, what you notice is that with static dots, when you hover your mouse over other faces, it will not update. You need to release control and press it again to update the dots uh, on a new face, okay? So um, that's one. Two, you got options in here. So dot to dot snap, okay? Stuff explanatory, it's gonna snap into dots. So when you draw a shape, it's gonna snap, you know, between dots, right? Then um, alignment preview, well, that's also a kind of self-explanatory. So when you hover over dot and you kind of hold control and you hover over dot, you see the rectangle, which basically previews the orientation of your cutter. So when I start drawing, you see that it's gonna be in this orientation. Now the cool trick here, actually two tricks I can give you. One of them is when you press Alt, you will see the same behavior of the cutter. So let's start drawing and then hold Alt as of the cutter in the original dots. So it's gonna draw from the middle of this uh, of this dot, right? Second one, so now if I scroll my mouse up and down, you can see it kind of uh, flips between 45 degrees and uh, 90 degrees, right? So let's start drawing this orientation, hold Alt, and you can draw cuts like this, Shift T, you know, interesting stuff, yeah. Another function here would be subdivision preview. That is pretty cool. So if I'm going to hover my mouse over, uh, uh, you know, this uh, quad here and hold shift and start scrolling my mouse, you can see I'm gonna kind of draw a grid on this uh, face and that's gonna stay here. You can release your control and release your mouse. And then I can kind of draw in between these shapes here, which is kind of cool. I don't have to hold anything. I simply draw with my mouse. So you can, you know, draw precise cuts in here. If you want to get rid of it, press escape and you're done, okay? Cool. So let's delete that and let's grab another cube and let's talk about uh, the grid. Let's talk about the static grid, okay? First option, without any of these options enabled, right? If you hold control, you're going to see this full square being displayed, okay? Now when you start drawing the shape, it's going to start snapping to uh, these increments, even outside the grid. If you release control, you're going to stop snapping. If you hold control, you're going to start snapping again, okay? Cool. The first option here is the grid mode color, which basically uh, shows you what color you're in. So now I'm in the cutter mode because it's red. Now let's switch to slash, okay? So now we're in a slash mode, okay? So now you see that the grid is different color, okay? If I switch to, let's say, inset mode, my blender is going to crash. Like I said, I'm in 3.0, so crash as I expected, yeah. Uh, let's go back to, an, to our uh, box cutter here, and let's see other options, okay? So, static grid, right? Now, this one, the first one, the toggle grid overlay, I'm not sure what it does, to be honest. Uh, the always in the front, I think what it does, it works similarly to... Uh, to this option here on the viewport when you have in front which means it will always show this object in front okay so even if you have something you know here and you're gonna select this one and click in front you see it's gonna show in front even if it's um, behind the other object so i think that's it uh, when you select this kind of a grid it's gonna always show it in front you see it shows this grid always in front and if you turn it off right it's gonna be in the back, you see? So you can kind of see the whole grid um, when you're drawing, which is kind of convenient, okay? Now the last option is transparency. That's kind of cool. So when you hold control, you see a full opacity. When you start drawing, you're gonna see 50% probably or 25. I don't know how much it is, but it's kind of, you know, semi-transparent. So you can actually see a little bit better uh, if you have a complicated shape underneath. Well, there you go, guys. That's the uh, new functions in a nutshell of the box cutter snapping tool and grid. I think they're brilliant and, you know, have a go at them. Links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description. Thank you for watching. Catch you soon.